Today is September 20th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Cory Maracosta. Here are today's top stories. Syracuse University College Republicans has canceled a Moms for Liberty chapter meeting. They were going to hold the meeting in Watson Theater today. The club withdrew their meeting request when they heard that it would be denied for going against university policy. According to a statement from the university, students may not host meetings for outside organizations. There is a new search committee looking for the next chief information officer for SU. Chancellor Kent Severud announced that the committee will be led by special advisor Jeff Rubin alongside five other members. The goal is to finish the search by the end of the semester. The new officer will begin early 2024. Chancellor Kent Severud has appointed seven new representatives to the Board of Trustees. Dean Michael Speaks, Professor Christine Ashby, the assistant to the Dean Kathleen Foley, two undergraduate students and two law students all have been appointed to the Board. The role of these representatives is to help SU implement strategic objectives in support of its mission and vision. Well, if you're looking to go abroad, you're in luck. Syracuse Abroad is now accepting applications for 2024 summer and short-term courses. The programs range from two to nine weeks and is a great opportunity to get in some extra credits. The application deadline for short-term programs is October 15th and the deadline for summer programs is February 1st. Syracuse Department of Public Safety is investigating anti-Semitic graffiti in Brewster Hall. The reported stated a student noticed there was graffiti drawn on a whiteboard on their door Thursday evening. The student erased the graffiti and contacted DPS on Sunday. DPS Chief Craig Stone requests that anyone with additional information should come forward. And coming up, public health concerns due to unsafe weed. What, cannab what cannabis testers have found? Stay tuned to find out. Did you hear about the pony with a sore throat? He was a little horse. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why couldn't the pellet wait? Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. Where did cats go on vacation? New York. <laughs> Legal cannabis grown and sold in New York State may pose a serious health risk to consumers. Top-selling strains sold at dispensaries have been found to contain microbial levels 10 to 250 times higher than the state allows. New York State regulations require cannabis to be grown indoors, which experts say exposes it to higher levels of yeast, bacteria, and mold. And the first Inner Harbor Festival is coming to Syracuse. This three-day festival will run from Friday to Sunday this weekend. There will be food trucks, live entertainment, and even dragon boat racing. The funds raised at this event will go towards Clear Path for Veterans, a local nonprofit organization. Now, it's been a nice day out today, but I'm not seeing any of that fall chill I expect to see. Luke Radel, what's up with that? Hey there, Cora. As a lifelong Central New Yorker, I am very familiar with that fall chill, which is why it's nice to enjoy days like today. 67 degrees and mostly sunny outside your window. This is actually the view from outside my window earlier today. Some dotted clouds in there occasionally, but you can actually see out over the horizon for 23 miles, which ain't bad. Let's take a look at the weather tonight as it dips down into the low 50s. 52 degrees It's going to drop to 45 degrees before the sunrise tomorrow morning. Sunset tonight is at 7.05, so if you're looking to get those lovely Instagram pictures of the sunset, that'll be the time to do it. That's all the time I have for you right now. More weather in an hour on News Live at 6. But for right now, I'm going to toss it over to my Citrus TV colleague who shares my favorite first name, Luke Welch. Thanks, Luke. And coming up on News Live at 6, the SU College Republicans are hosting an environmental policy debate tonight in Goldstein Auditorium. The debate will be between two political climate authors, Alex Epstein and Tom Rand. The two will debate about continuing the usage of fossil fuels to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050 and its environmental and economic impact. Tune into News Live at 6 in an hour for live coverage of the event with a look behind the scenes before the debate starts. Cora, I'm going to send it back to you. Thank you, Luke. Well, that's all the time we have today for you on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Cory Maracosta. The news continues at, in an hour with Maddie Stelk and Jesse Cook. Have a good one.